Show me your smile. Ah, your teeth are radiant. Do you use miswalk to brush them? <laughs> In the Ottoman Empire, everyone had good teeth. Here, not so much. Here, people eat whatever they get. More days than a snail has teeth. I left to pursue my great ideas and my reckless youth. I still feel as reckless and almost as young. And if I can get enough wolf teeth, I'll finally be able to craft my invention. I already have 26 pearly white wolf fangs. I need six more, just like them. They should be from robust middle-aged wolves. Warriors, if you can spot them. Could you get the teeth for me? I'll be grateful. As, as royal ladies, we've always been protected. We led lavish lives in the Chosun court, and for a while, in Ebonscale Reach. It's the first time we're living out in the wilds, like common folk. We're trying to adapt. Yes, once upon a time I was even destined to be queen. But I lost my betrothed to the sea, on our way to the island. My mother hasn't given up hope I will be married one day. She fears the worst, if I don't. <sighs> that I'll turn into a lost. Like the ones who haunt this island. A creature with no purpose but to haunt women with better prospects. Mother grew up with tales of the virgin ghost. It's hard to shake her out of her belief. I've been ruined. I can't work like I once used to. Oh, what good are hands when your mind is occupied by the demons that plague your dreams? Oh, scars. My father's mistakes wore him down till he broke. He always thought the world was better. He shattered when he saw the truth. He lost himself in making glassworks. People came from all over the island to buy them. He had a deep relationship with glass, knew exactly which mineral would elicit the color he desired. His works were treasures that brought hope. But now, they're lost in a house filled with horrors. Uh, oh, uh, would you? I can't step foot in that house. There, there are too many memories. It isn't easy to be second place in your father's eyes. Please, just get the glass works, if you can.
Getting into the house must not have been easy. I am grateful for your courage. These are the last things I have of my father. At least he got to spend his last days with his precious work. He wrote me letters. I'll read his words, although I am fearful of what they may reveal. Isn't it ironic that my emotions are as fragile as his glass? At least his works have value. You spotted the wolves well. Middle-aged, strong, aggressive fighters most likely. Oh, these are the perfect fangs. They're sparkly, they're white. They can cut through meat. The first of its kind dental weapon for the toothless elderly among us. Those who have the punch, but lack the bite. One chomp from these pearly beauties will make an attacker regret the choices. Brilliant, no? Letters. Hmm. So some of the lost used to be married once? That makes no sense. And you're saying that even getting married doesn't keep you from turning into one of these creatures. How disturbing. A talisman to ward off evil spirits. What a clever idea. Why don't you use the wedding rings? Maybe they'll influence Nabi and she'll want to get married sooner. A talisman? To protect me from evil and lower my chances of turning into a ghost? A talisman? To protect me from evil and lower my chances of turning into a ghost? Does this mean my mother no longer believes marrying is protection against turning into the lost? And my mother will always want that. If she ever turned into a lost, which I hope she never does, she'd follow me around with the sole purpose of getting me married. And probably scare all my suitors away. What folly we have committed! We unleashed the most tragic magic by giving in to Fatima's whims. We made a talking mirror that berates me for my decisions every minute, every hour, every day. It just doesn't stop. I had to. Her words are still pounding in my head. I broke her heart. And now I've broken her mirror. Maybe that's why she won't stop haunting me. See, I do. Fatima was the joy of my soul once. I left Spain, left my family because of my love for her. I love my querida even when we fought, even when her cloudy gray eyes turned into a storm. You are right. She speaks through another large mirror in the cove that's filled with pirates. I'll need your help to break it. 
but I must get her taunts out of my head. Hello, friend. I hope this day is treating you with kindness. Would you have time to help a fellow? Regrettably, the people I was trying to protect have turned into the lost. May fortune be with you. I'd come to the settlement to find help, but no one had time to listen. It takes a special person to go out of their way to help someone else. Did you find everyone's amulets? Thank you, friend. You have put my mind at ease. The problems on this island are larger than those I've experienced, and one can't use their hand to force the sun to set. that you could love someone, and yet living with them can slowly destroy you. This island didn't help. But, oh, Fatima, I miss you so much. Really? You found something that belonged to my family? What is it? Who are they? Where can I meet them? Oh, give me that! Oh, she was a prestigious knight in the time of Artorius himself. I can't believe it. This knight business runs in my blood. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'm going to keep it as a reminder. <laughs> 